The 2021 G7 summit is just around the corner. Vulnerable countries have asked repeatedly for better access to climate finance, yet G7 deliberations have not delivered on this so far. G7 leaders need to land three things at the summit in Cornwall to address this. Firstly, to make new commitments to climate finance to exceed the agreed $100 billion target and to do this well ahead of COP26. Secondly, to endorse the principles for locally led adaptation and hold the new task force on access to climate finance accountable for delivering the solutions identified by the vulnerable countries. These solutions include developing a robust climate finance definition, agreeing a single accreditation pathway across the various multilateral climate funds, shifting to longer term and more transparent climate finance, and making sure 50% of public climate finance supports adaptation actions. And finally, G7 leaders should commit to enabling indebted countries to use debt management for strategic action on climate and nature, and ensure the sustainability of debt considers climate vulnerability and net zero targets. This can be combined with support for reallocating a share of the IMF's special drawing rights to enable climate vulnerable countries to fund their own green recovery from the pandemic. There are some positive signs of change coming through the G7 ministerial level meetings, but more is needed. If the UK wants to leave a powerful legacy this year, especially from its presidency of COP26, it also needs to drop its planned aid cuts before the G7 summit. These cuts send the wrong message and could be partly why other major countries, such as Germany and Canada, are yet to make any new climate finance announcements. The G7 summit outcomes will be a litmus test for other ma major meetings this year, and vulnerable countries are watching closely.